Can you claim the EITC credit with no income as well as what filing statuses and requirements? We are going to go over all of that. So welcome back everyone so happy to have you back for another update this information is being shared from irs.gov type in the search earn income tax credit or eit C. Now, to qualify for the EITC, you must have worked and earned income under $59,187. And we are going to go over the chart in just a moment in terms of the filing status, single household, as well as how many children, what the income standard is per child. So make sure you stay watching. All right. Now, you must also have investment income below 10300 in tax year 2022 have a valid social security number by the due date of your 2022 tax return including any extensions be a u.s citizen or resident alien all year and not file form 2555 foreign earned income and meet certain rules if you are separated from your spouse and not filing a joint tax return. Now, here is the adjusted gross income breakdown per child. So if you have no children, the income standard limit is $16,000. $480. If you have no children and you're filing um, jointly, married filing jointly, that income standard limit is $22,610. For one child, $43,492. If you're filing married jointly, it's $49,622. Now for two children, the income standard adjusted gross income limit is $49,399 and for married filing jointly $55,529. Now for three children uh, or more, it is $53,057 married filing jointly $59,187. Now the maximum with no qualifying children, it is $560. One qualifying child is $3,733 and two qualifying children is $6,164. Three or more qualifying children is $6,935. The filing status says that you can use to claim the EITC is married filing jointly, head of household, qualifying survivor spouse, single and married filing separately. If you claim the EIC credit and you are married, not filing a joint return, and you had a qualifying child who lived with you for more than half of 2022, then either of the following must apply. You lived apart from your spouse for the last six months of 2022, or you are legally separated according to your state law under a written separation agreement or a decree of separate maintenance and you didn't live in the same household as your spouse at the end of 2022. If you're unsure about your filing status, you can use the EITC qualification assistance or the interactive tax assistance on the IRS dot gov website you can put in your specific information specific to your household and they will let you know if you are eligible now head of household filing status you can claim the head of household filing status if you're not married and pay more than half of the cost of keeping up your home where you live with your qualifying child and you can also seek more information on that publication 501 standard deduction and filing information on the irs.gov website you can also check out this video for all of the other credits tax credits for 2023 uh 2023 i will pin this video in the uh, comments as well as in the description box and don't forget to comment like share subscribe hit that notification bell and come back for all of the information that matters to you most because i am doing the research so you do not have to and i will see every one of you again 